what's going on YouTube? Today Thursday, boy. Tell you about the incident happened to your boy's school last night. Here at Avon. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Be right back at the Caravan Hot Door. Nobody stopping my shine They try to break me, try to take me out But I got Jesus on my side So bad I thought I would die But ain't no power stronger than the one that came and laid down his life And I got mountains to climb But the enemy can't stop me Cause there's a calling on my life So when I'm crying, don't last too long Cause he gon' step in and make it alright We'll only do it, he said he would Not to Cameron Hunt, like just like Karen Hawthorne said, won't he do it? Yes, he will. Let me drink some of this here. Oh, body armor. I told you that's what your boy drink out here because it's, it's only um, 20 grams of sodium, uh, 20 grams of sugar, and it's made with a uh, natural flavor and sweetener, coconut water. Man. Pretty good, man. My daughter turned me on to that. But anyway, let's get into it, man. I pulled in on the uh oh shucks. Uh-uh. Boy the spilled this french fry. Uh I pulled in on the uh Nashville lot yesterday. And uh you know me. I get out and walk around, man. Go inside and a couple of my co-workers uh him me up and was talking about the video. So one of them said, Scoop, uh Mr. Scoop, uh if you don't mind me giving you some advice, I said, uh, how long you been I asked him, I said out the blue, I said, Well let me ask you a question. First off, you're going to give me advice. How long you been driving? Oh, what they got to do with it? I said, just, yeah, I'm asking you nicely. How much advice? How long you been driving? So, he's been, he's been driving for 10 years. 10. The other guy wasn't say. I said, okay, come on. Give it to me. What you got? He said, uh, hey, a lot of us here at Avery, we happy at Avery. I said, uh, congratulations, dog. I'm happy here at Avery, too. So what's, 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 what, are you, what are you saying? So he said, uh, well, we saw your video, and you're talking about uh, raises and this and that that Avery didn't give us and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, let me tell you something, man. If you got a problem with that, you need to go to higher manager, upper management. I said, uh, what I upload on my video is my business. If you don't like what I'm saying, don't watch the video. Well, man, I'm just saying, man, you seem like you be complaining since you came back. I said, uh, uh, the other one guy said, well, yeah, yeah I got to agree with him, Scoob. You may should have, might should have just stayed gone. I said, let me tell you all something. I don't know what this look like, but it's two white guys talking to me, one black guy. So I'm like, dude, let me tell you something. One thing about Scoob, I love everybody. I'm not racist at all. So don't ever let that cross your mind. But uh, number two. Uh, the what I what I feel is what I feel, and this is uh, I'm entitled to my opinion. If y'all don't like it, first off, let me ask y'all something. If you don't like what a person is saying, and y'all excuse me because it kind of upset at your boy school. I said if you don't like what I'm saying, what the hell are you watching me for? What the hell did you click on the button for? See, they made me get out of my character, there, man, and. Uh, and I was, I was, I was, I'm not going to go into detail, but I had to catch myself because I was trying to go back this other Gemini. I told y'all in all my videos, it's two sides of school. You got the good side and you got that other side. And uh, only somebody that have seen that other side, y'all saw a little bit of it when they broke in my trailer. Don't let my uh, Christian life fool you. Like a boy said, I ain't always been a Christian. But let me tell you something, dog. And I told him, let me tell you something. I didn't ask you to click on my station. 
I didn't ask you to click on it. I'm not going to call their name, but they work over at Avery. I said, I didn't ask you to click on my station. If you don't like what I'm saying, why you click on it? Why you click on it? I, I, I see, I view a lot of videos out here since I started making videos in 2014. I've looked at a lot of videos. And if it's a if it's some content I don't like, I just stop watching the very person video. I don't say nothing bad. I don't type in nothing bad. I don't type nothing negative. I just stop watching the videos. That's the professional way to do it, like I told him. I said, but no, you want y'all want to hear me up? Let's go ahead and pop. Come on, come on. Talk. What else y'all got on your mind? Well, I'm just saying. Uh, you you make it seem like Avery is this, Avery is that, a bad company. I didn't say not one time Avery was bad. No, I didn't say not one. Did I? Did I say in my videos that Avery was a bad company? I don't think I said that. I said if Avery had to let me went back to truckload when I thought when I got some false information and transfer it to shuttle, but I didn't know I was gonna be the last man on the totem pole that wasn't gonna work. So I wanted to go back to truckload and they refused to let me. And uh, they said, well, you have to stay in it for a year. I told them I ain't gonna make it a year in this. I ain't not going home with $45 for that day. Oh, hell no. So I told them, I said, so dude, uh, both of y'all, uh, one thing I don't like is for y'all to hem me up like this, but that's cool. One thing about your boy school, being, in, being an ex-law enforcement officer, I know how to defend myself. And I wasn't worried about them doing nothing to your boy school. I wasn't worried about them doing a darn thing to me. Because I guarantee you, if they had them, all three of us would have been fired at Avery. But they would have been carried away. But that's that's beside the point. That, that, that's, that's beside the point. That's why I said. You don't want to see that other school and everything. So leave that joker where he at. Because if he come out, I promise you it's hard to get me back in there. But anyway, I let him talk. And they went on. And uh, said, seemed like you're not happy since you came back. I said, I, did I say I wasn't happy? I just said that Avery is still in the same position when I left, and I thought they had moved forward, but they're not. They're, they're staying in that same spot. When I left here, I was at 50 cent a mile, uh, and I come back 55. Now, six years that went between that, six years, 55 cent. Uh, one of the reasons why I came back to Avery is because one of the benefits Two, I didn't have to worry about a place to park. Uh, with most of the other companies that I had worked for, I would have had to make sure that I got a place to park. Avery got a yard. The yard is 10 minutes from my, five minutes from my house. Five minutes, I could be at the yard. And uh, and the benefits and the equipment, that's the reason why I'm back at Avery. The benefits, the home time, the equipment, and I ain't gotta mess up my clothes. I can mess up their clothes turn these shirts in and they get you 150 every every year begin another year to go buy new shirts new uniforms so that's one reason and i didn't have to go out i got a closet full of my own uniform my uniforms which is uh you know that i've had my stuff put on but uh avid won't you in their uniform so like i told my sister so that's one of the reasons why i came back since y'all must know but uh when you know it, it went on and on and they they freely spoke I freely spoke, wasn't, a, wasn't no licks, wasn't no uh, curse words passed, but uh, I told them I was going to make this video, and to you guys, appreciate you vouching your opinion, I really do, but next time, look at the video, watch it all the way through, listen to the video, don't just pick out certain points in the video where I'm talking about certain things. Because if you want me to complain, I can complain today. Let, let me do a little complaining today. Do a little complaining today, excuse me. I put in the first of last month. First of last month, I told my dispatch, say I need to be in by Thursday. You know, I need to be on Friday and I won't be back till Monday. Uh, they said, okay. She said, all right, I got it on the board. <sighs> today is Thursday. Uh, they gave me a load yesterday, picked up in Bristol, Tennessee. But they gave me, had me a load that picked up 20 miles from Knoxville Yard where I was. And they took that load off me and said, well, it don't pick up to 1,500. I'm like, shh, which would have worked perfect, 1,500. Turned around and head on back down to Memphis and dropped it. It was going to Kennesaw, Texas. So they turned around and said, hey, uh, planners got you on another load. Go pick up in Bristol 
in Tri-City. Take it to the Tri-City yard, grab an empty, go to Bristol, pick up a uh, place in Bristol, uh, Virginia, and take it down to Walmart. And then from there, we route you home. We, you'll get you, in, get you to the house. I said, okay, cool. How about I didn't got down here to Walmart in New Albany, Mississippi, dropped my trailer, grabbed an empty, and now she sends me a message. Says 10 4. I had to send my empty. I said, I picked up empty such and such. It says 10 4. Let's hold tight for now and make sure the planner doesn't need us to pick up anything. Now, I'm an hour from Memphis, but that's the game they play. That's what I'm talking about. That's the game. They couldn't let me sit there in Knoxville to three, two o'clock, preacher, field, go down 20 some miles, 30 miles, pick up my load, then come to Memphis and drop it for a driver that's on his way to Texas for uh, Friday. They couldn't do that. So they came up with this load. And now I done dropped it. And now they want me to sit and wait till see what they got. That, that's what I'm talking about. Stuff like that don't make sense. And I told you I need to be in by Thursday and everything for Friday. But like I said, I, I'll pull it right here at Regal, next, next down the street from uh, Walmart. I'm waiting on them. So how long do you expect for me to sit? That's what I'm saying. That's the little stuff they're doing. That's what they're doing. Or they'll take me or give me a load. They'll take it from me. And they told me, my dispatch said they don't do that no more. If you pick it or you load it, you have to take it straight to where it's going. You know, unless it's got too much time on it, that's the only time they would T-call it off for you. Cool. That's all I've been doing. But lately I've been picking up O-1s, O-2s. That's what I'm talking about. But if you pick up an O-1 or O-2 and it's going 50 miles or it's going 100 say 110 miles, 120 miles. That's all you're going to get. You don't get that guaranteed 350 and you don't get the guaranteed 450 unless you pick it up at the shipper and you take it to the receiver. If you pick up anything off the yard, that's it. You just get the miles from there to there. And if it's a little short mile, they pay you $100. That's what they'll do. Hold on for a minute. Oh, shucks. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Where's my napkin? Uh, they pay you a uh, hundred dollars if it's a little short run and you're doing a local. So that's what I'm talking about. That's all I'm talking about. I'm not complaining about nothing else. I'm just saying. But for them guys to come up here and say you're complaining, you don't seem happy. How you know what I am and what I ain't? But yeah, that's what happened to your boy school last night. But uh, like I said, it's a mess, man. I ain't gonna sit there too long though. That's for sure. Twelve o'clock. This don't make sense. It don't make sense, but. That's what's going on. That's what happened with your boy school government. Excuse me, man. I got me some little chicken tenders out of there, man. I can even eat breakfast and stuff. And I can tell when I don't eat breakfast before I start getting cranky and moody. Hold on. Yeah. Your boy start getting cranky and moody. You know, when you don't eat. You act a fool when you don't eat. But, uh. Other than that, man, it's just like any other company, man. They're a great company. They got great potential. It's just some things that they need to work on, you know, to be as big as they are. It's just a few things they need to work on. The thing about it is, the drivers, when you get a driver that, like my, such as myself and other drivers, that pick up a load, load it, go straight to the customer. You know, that's the thing about me. If I could pick it up and go straight to the customer, then dang it, when I get on, get to that customer, I expect for you to have me another load waiting on me, pre-planned. Say, hey, we got you pre-planned on another load. If they take that, if they don't, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you, you know. But 
It is what it is. It's trucking, though. My wife told me. <laughs> she said, babe, I think you're getting too, you're getting old now. You're getting old, you're getting grumpy. The company, Colonial, you're going you. Yeah, they did. Colonial, you're going you. Now you got to go back to being a company driver. Uh, you just, you just spoiled. That's all you have. You, you big old spoiled baby. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. That's what I told her. Whatever. You want to call me a big old spoiled baby? Okay, whatever. You call me what you want to call me. But when it comes down to it, I'm out here for one reason. That's to make money. And I used to believe what people used to say at these companies. Oh, you can't. You can't make no money and go home every weekend. You can't make money and go home every weekend. I'm going to look you in your face. You a doing lie. You a lie. Your boy scooped and did it. I done did it. You was a lie. Yeah, you a lie. I done done it. I done done it. I have done it. Yes. Three grand. $2,800. And home on Friday. Delivering that... Uh, Home on Friday. God darn, Prime. Prime come rolling in this truck stop, man, for the run over the guy. But um, I've done it. I have done it. Yes, you can do it. And don't let nobody tell you you can't. It's a lie. It is a lie. But uh, you can go home every weekend and still make that kind of money. Yes, I know owner operators throwing more than that down. $4,000 a week home every weekend. <laughs> so I don't know where they get that junk from and everything to my new people getting into this. Listen to me. The videos are good. These videos are good. There's a lot of people out here that's giving good advice. Better than school's advice. Greater than school's advice. But they're giving great, solid advice. Listen to it. Take a portion of it, just a portion, and apply it with what you research. Put it with your research. Whatever I, I tell you about a company, great, 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 good, good, good. You get over here, boom, it ain't what I said. You know, you won't be able to go back and say, school did this, school did that. Uh, it's what you have applied to it, too. So what I mean is, watch the videos, take heed to what they're saying. But at the same time, do your own research and be your own professional driver out here. Uh, this and everything. But um, let me throw this in there too. I talked to some of my buddies in Brownsville. We was talking uh, at the scale. <clears throat> but uh, I want y'all to know this. So please, y'all, uh, you don't have to pass the video on, but pass this, relate this message to people that's coming through the state of Tennessee. Okay, you know how you see these guys out here tailgating each other and you riding that truck's tail. Well, starting the first of next month, the first of May, state troopers that's going opposite of the way you're going, if you're going east and they going west, and they see that you do not have at least a truck link in between you and that truck in front, get ready. They're going to write you a ticket. It's going to be a falling too close ticket. It's 10 points on your CSA, which doubles to 30 points. That 10 points is going to double to 30 points. It's going to be 30 points. It will stay on your CDL for three years. After three years, the first year you done went, you're going to be down to 20 points. Now, if you get another one, you think that's 30 plus two. That's 50 points on your CSA. So that means you got to go three years without getting another falling too close ticket or a ticket, period. Because if you don't, those are points just added to you. So they are going to hit you starting the 1st of May. The 1st of May, y'all. The state troopers, if they're sitting in the middle and you come past them and you're not more than a truck link behind that truck in front, boom. You're going, to get, you're going to get pulled over 
and they're gonna write you a ticket for falling too close. That's 30 points on your CSA. You turn around and go out and you get a warning ticket. A warning ticket is five points. A warning ticket, five points. That's five points which make a total of 15 points that you get. So you take that 30 and that 15, what you got? 45 points on your CSA score. The more points you get, the higher your points on your CSA. No company want to touch you because why? Those 45 or 50 points that you got is going to carry over to that company. So I'm just letting you know, please forward it to somebody. Let them know that, hey, come May the 1st, the state of Tennessee is going to start nailing you. They finna, they finna enforce that falling too close. So if they see you and you ain't, you do not have more than a truck link in front, you gotta have at least a truck link between you and the back end of that other truck. Get ready, they gonna cite you. You gonna get a ticket. And they, 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 you could be going one way and they coming the other way. But if they look and see it, boom, you see him doing the flip. All you, all I want you to say is, hey. Going, Scooby Doo. Man, Scooby Doo said that. Scooby Doo said it. Here he come. Boom. Pull it on the shoulder uh, and everything. Another thing to my young drivers, new drivers in this, and my old drivers. Guys, listen to me. And I was told to put this one out. When you're stopped by a state trooper, <laughs> if he stop you and you see up the road, it's another exit. Put your flashers on. Turn them on. Turn them off, turn them on, turn them off, and then turn them back on and slow your speed down and ease your truck up to that exit ramp, okay? If you see a wider spot now, if it's not a wide enough spot on the interstate, I'm going to say this, give them that safety, rig, uh, safety net. If you can get to an exit and once he come up there and say, hey, I'll let you up about a mile down the road. Well, yes, sir, I know that, sir. But I'm thinking about your safety as well as mine. If you notice, I put my four ways on, I turned them off. I put my four ways on, I turned them off, and I dropped my speed to five miles below the speed limit, which indicate to you that I'm not running. I'm just getting us off the road. Not only you am I worried about, I'm worried about me. And there's not a state trooper out here that's gonna, gonna doubt that or even gonna question that. So give them that safety net, okay? Just let them know, communicate. A lot of times you can get on 19 on uh, Channel 9. He's got a radio in his car. He'll hear you. Said, look, say, hey, I got you behind me. I'm going to pull up here. I'm going to get to this next exit ramp up here. And that's it. Okay? You have got to do that, guys. Respect them. Give them that safety net. Uh, they want to get back home to their family, too. You know how many state troopers we have lost from a, just pulling over somebody on the side of the road? from a drunk driver or a driver that's going to sleep or a driver that's not paying attention, come on guys, work with us. And don't get out there talking crazy to a state trooper when he pull you over. Just say, how you doing, sir? And and let him tell you, well, I got you speeding or I got you falling too close. Listen to what I'm about to say, and it is true. I've heard it all my career of driving. Listen to me. The side of the interstate is not the place to disagree with a state trooper. The side of the interstate to my new drivers, my middle-aged drivers, and my older drivers, the side of the road is not the place to argue with a DOT or a state trooper. You don't want to argue on the side of the road because I promise you, you're going to make matters worse. Now he's going to turn around and bring the dog. He want to, he can hold you there to, you know, not, he can't hold you there and enough time for him to write that ticket. He can't hold you there until the state trooper get there with a dog, a canine get there. He can only hold you there enough time to write that citation. And that's it. Unless he finds proper cause. Okay. But let's give the state troopers that respect, y'all. Give them that respect. They're out here to protect you too. Okay. And another thing I was asked to put out. Guys, stop parking on the get-on ramp. That's a $175 ticket. And it's points on your CSA score. In the state of Tennessee, you cannot park on a get-on ramp or exit ramp. Please, stop parking. Okay? Get off and just go in the truck stop and block somebody in. 
And you know they're going to wake you up, so don't get an attitude when they knock on your door to wake you up. Okay? Just block some, block some trucks in. And just be prepared to move. As long as you don't go over five miles an hour, it won't put you in driving, people. It won't. Okay? I'm trying to save you. Okay? I'm just trying to save you. But these are, those are the new rules that they're fixing to end force come the 1st of May. So I'm telling you, when you see it, if you're tailgating, you come back and get you, just as Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo said that, God, dog. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, state of Tennessee is finna start tearing you up now, okay? But uh, this your boy, Scoob. Uh, like I said, I'm here waiting on them. So I'm gonna finish eating my chicken and everything before it get too cold. But uh, this is your Thursday video. Y'all, I spit my darn french fries. So, <laughs> y'all be careful, be safe. Keep the good Lord with you in everything you do and say. And continue to keep Scooby doing my wife in your prayers. And to the uh, uh, to the uh, wait a minute, Knoxville. Okay, okay, I'll see what I did. The initial Memphis called the Memphis Trail and um and to um to the two guys that uh <laughs> him your boy Scoob up at the yard in Nashville uh I wish you all nothing but blessings I wish you all nothing but prosperity for you and your family I have no hate in him hate in my heart and everything but uh just do Scoob a favor next time watch the whole video before you come to your boy Scoob all right uh Thank God that he did not let the other Scooby-Doo come all the way out in your boy Scoop. So I thank God for that. But uh, like I said, other than that, I'm going to finish eating. Y'all have a safe and blessed day. Uh, I'm going to make this video uh, it for today. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to make another video tomorrow, okay? But this is your boy Scooby-Doo. Y'all be careful. Be safe. Keep the good Lord with you and everything you do and say. And continue to keep Scooby-Doo and my wife in your prayers. We'll do the same for each and every one of you all. We love you. We thank God for you. This is your boy Scooby-Doo. We'll talk to you then. Scooby-Doo.